To all your 11 students watching this video, there are now less than 70 days left until GCSEs, but that's not to say you can't still do well. Which is exactly why in this video I'll be discussing how to jump from grade 5 to 9s in less than 3 months. Now, in less than 10 steps, saving the best for last, you can go from almost failing and getting average grades to those coveted 8s and 9s. And going step by step through every section, by the time you finish watching this video, there's almost nothing you won't be able to take on. To start, so many people ask me, Emma, is it now too late to revise? And to that I say, no, now is the perfect time to start your exam revision to make sure you don't burn out. And the first step to doing so is adapting. So what I want you guys to do is get out your markers and print out your specifications. Specifications, in case you don't know, are literal godsends when it comes to the exams. Imagine a sheet with every single thing that you might need for the exam written out in simple bullet points that are easy to understand. That's literally what a specification is. It's almost like a checklist of exactly what you need to know. And what I want you guys to do is go through with your traffic light system of markers so red yellow and green and work out what you're the most confident versus the least confident on one thing i found is a lot of people were asking what to do when you just suck at a subject as a whole and honestly i completely relate and the thing that i tended to find the most easiest to do was work my way from the hardest topic to what i found the easiest and using that traffic light system you'll make sure that you work on your weaknesses and then end off with what you find the best now we're going to discuss the perfect study schedule and honestly this next step's a bit controversial and you'll find out exactly why in next week's video but for the purpose of this video you'll want to find out exactly what exams you have when what you start off with first versus what you end off with and the reason for that is when you revise you want to alternate between what subject you find the hardest and what's going to come up first and by alternating between and doing one subject one day one subject the other day you'll get the best of both worlds when it comes to exams in terms of timing and revising your weaknesses and you'll want to allocate certain times of the day that you'll know you'll be at home with nothing to do to start your revision. Get a timer and spend the next two to three hours focused on the topic at hand, hide any distractions and put away your phone and make sure those two to three hours are just dedicated to revision. But I'll do a video on study schedules next week so you'll find out exactly why I think they're overrated and why there's a much better method that you can use. One thing I found is how many people don't know how many resources there are out there and what to do when they get stuck. And as someone who's tried nearly all of them under the sun, here are my top three. And these are YouTube, Physics and Maths Tutor, and The Teacher. And I know I've mentioned YouTube and The Teacher before, so I'll focus on Physics and Maths Tutor in this video. And the reason I find it so useful, because it has everything that you could ever need to revise. It has flashcards, they do past paper questions and definition sheets. So in terms of any resource that you'll need, they'll probably have on their website. So I recommend you check it out and there should be a link in my description below. So go on, get out there and start taking advantage of all the things at your disposal. Now, step number four to going from five to nines at GCSE is to do effective practice. And after doing questions and getting some wrong, I want you to go back over the parts of the topic that you found hard, but along with that, also just take an opportunity to go through the marks. Pick out the stock phrases that you see that come up every single time when you get a question wrong, and honestly, just try to learn them. Every question requires answers and stock phrases that you should just know like that. Those phrases will make your life much easier, but that's not to say you should just copy the mark scheme. Try making flashcards with the questions that you found hard while doing papers and then go back over them to make sure you understand exactly where you went wrong and to get those marks when it comes to the real thing. Now tip number five is consistency and something I definitely struggled with when it came to my own GCSE exams and showing up and doing the hours needed to get those top grades. And let's be real, doing revision is probably not the most fun thing in the world and can be made even less fun when it comes to stuff that you have to focus on that you find hard. So one of my biggest tips and one of the things I used to do, I used to revise topics that I found easier alongside the things that I found harder. So for me, that would have been doing maths alongside biology, physics alongside English, any combos of subject that you find easier easier versus the ones you find harder but honestly one of the biggest things when it comes to revision is consistency you can't just expect to do five hours of really focused revision one day which i honestly think is kind of impossible so don't do that but you can't expect to do that one day and not do any revision the other days and then get top grades in your exams which is why you need to do little and often go through bit by bit all the stuff that you find hard alongside what you find more fun and then hopefully your revision won't be as boring and you get those grades eights and nines in the summer 
Now, saving the best for last, going from a grade 5 to 9, you need to ensure that you can stay flexible and adjust to whatever necessary. Now, things are going to come up that you don't expect, places to be, topics that you used to find easy but are now being a bit hard, and it's all part of effective revision to be able to organize and adjust your time effectively to make sure you get a mix between relaxation and revision. Because after all, remember, GCSEs aren't the be all and end all, and you should definitely make some time for yourself in that exam season and in that exam prep. Now, going from a grade 5 to 9 won't be easy, but show up, show out, and you can prove to everyone, including yourself, that you can do it. Thanks so much for watching this video, and if you did find it useful, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to check out this video where I discuss the 5 best things to do with less than 70 days until exams. And yeah, I'll see you guys next week with a brand new one. Bye for now!